It is still an inherent power given to the courts. But we are also aware of the provisions of Article 1912, which makes the exercise of that power almost arbitrary. It's always arbitrary. It is not defined right. and a punishment. I have a question. Judicial function, judicial power is never exercised arbitrarily in the place. No. Well, I don't, the go don't go there. Don't go there. Don't go there this afternoon. No, don't. <laughs> but, uh, so, but, uh, in the circumstances where, um, uh, Mr. Ekman, if you are heard to the whole world describing the exercise of contempt as arbitrary in this country, it is not proper. That's not what we are taught. Well, my lord, I don't want to argue the matter, but that is what is contained in the Liberty Press case that I intend to rely upon. That is how uh, my lord, the Chief Justice, described it. That is almost arbitrary. So one should be very careful when you are faced with contempt. So, so I, I know exactly what I'm saying, my lord. But with a greater respect, I go along with you because at this stage we have not come to argue with the bench. What we are asking for is to show mercy. <laughs> you use the word in any derogatory no, You only no, wanted never. to show the serious uh, immense power that this court exactly. has. Exactly. Dealing with exactly. <laughs> exactly, my <laughs> lord. <laughs> The practice has been to uh, sh show remorse, apologize for whatever has been said, and in fact, apologize all re reservedly in the circumstances. So that is what we are doing on behalf of our colleague, Sir John, who happens to be my classmate and call me as well. Uh, 
agree with you. I looked at the summons where it is recorded that the uh, John defends on Justice Atuguba and blah blah blah. Elaborate at page four thereof that you, Pajo Obusu Afriye, popularly known as a John, did also so and so did. So that's where I took the expression from. <laughs> Now, now, my Lord, as I said, at this stage, my Lord, is to, is to apologize unreservedly for whatever has taken place and to seek to purge whatever contempt that uh, you might have found yourself in. My Lord said, uh, Uswafi has done that. He has issued guidelines to all MPP communicators on avoiding contempt. My Lord, well thought out. They are not to use insulting, abusive, threatening, or rude words or phrases in describing the judges. They do not use words that are likely to be construed as provoking the judges. Do not pass personal remarks about judges because remember they are only doing their job by representing the state in the dispensation of justice. They do not use words or phrases to attack judges personally. Do not describe a judge in a manner that will sub subject him or her to ridicule. Do not use defamatory language in describing a judge. Defamatory language means anything that you say that will lower the judge in the eyes of right-thinking members. My Lord, about uh, 33 points, guidelines. And um, after he was notified that your lordships were waiting to deal with the matter. Lord, he has gone around the regions talking to communicators, advising them to change their ways. And I believe as men and women of the world, you might have heard that the airwaves have become very calm. The early part and the heady days of fire and brimstone are no longer ahead on the, on the airwaves. The Lord is therefore taking very decisive steps to purge himself of contempt. Now, my Lord, we are saying this in mitigation not because we want to challenge anything, but Sir John speaks in impeccable tree. And indeed, what he is alleged to have said were all spoken in three. I have looked at the summons where there has been a translation of what he said in the three language. Well, we cannot say that perhaps they accurately describe what he might have said. And as I said, I went way of a note of caution. I'm not saying that we are justifying anything but to be taken into consideration that the interpreter might also have used his own words as to what a, 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 a voodoo is, what a god is, and things like that, you know, bringing, interpreting from tree to English. So that the primary source of the charges now mm -hmm. will be the translation in the Enquirer newspaper and not the, uh, his own words uh, as uh, uttered in the tree language and in the, uh, uh, on the Adum FM. Well, the other point is this. Uh, uh, Oman, sorry. Do you want the tape to be played? No, no, no. Have it. no, no, no. But uh, that's why I said only to be taken into consideration uh, by way of mitigation. Therefore, maybe somebody's language may be different from the other. So when we are doing interpretation, perhaps it, it may not fully represent. But that's why I said only by way of mitigation, never to uh, challenge anything. Our oh, Lord, he, he, the respondent is also the general secretary of, of, of a big party in Ghana. Well, look, most of them as politicians, when they get to the platform mood, momentarily forget themselves. I, I have contested elections, and I know what it means 
to go and sing Oyo Mi Oyo. Ordinarily, maybe I will not be singing Oyo Mi Oyo. But I find myself on the platform, and I'll be singing Oyo Mi Oyo. Gagantua Wunchebi. I'll be singing that one. In that circumstance, was it on this type of platform that you yes. sang Woyomi? <laughs> so that when when you find yourself on the on the a friendly radio station mm. like Umam FM, and you are talking to your people, you 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 think it is a platform, a political platform, and you let yourself go. And so, my Lord, in trying to play to the gallery, and you see, they, they cheer you on. As you speak, they clap and shout. And you keep on saying, give him more blues. Before you say Jack, you might have uttered an unkind and an unguarded word. And this, this is the context that, my Lord, we want you to view this, uh, this incident. Presidents have been caught. Gordon Brown was caught off guard saying things that he ought not to have said. He forgot that he still had his mic on. So, my Lord, it could happen to anybody. And we are pleading with you. Look at it also from that point of view. And my Lord, timing, looking at the where we have reached with this um, hearing, it appears that everybody is poised for the judgment day. The, the, the trial is over. The, what we sought to stop was to ensure that during the hearing, language use should be measured. And unfortunately, we've gone through the trial. One or two actions on your part brought sanity. Those of us who were shouting at the rooftops were saying that the power is yours. And therefore, it does not amount to gagging any free spe speech. People should be measured. But Lord, we finish the trial. We are waiting for judgment. It, I believe that any move on the part of your court to impose a custodial sentence might not order well in view of the expectation that Everybody appears, you know, everybody is talking about peace. We see on the television everywhere, let there be peace, let there be peace, let there be peace. But Lord, we can only pray in heat the peace. And finally, my Lord, the power has always been there. But this court has held that there is no use always picking up judicial arms. <laughs> but there's no need taking up judicial arms. <laughs> my Lord, it has always been done with a certain measure that it is not that your lordships want to show that you have power and you want to exercise it. No. You are talking about dignity of the bench and respect for the judiciary. That is what we are talking about. It's not as individuals where you feel that something had been done to you. But you don't want law and order to break down. My Lord, and therefore, the punishment or the power is invoked rather very sparingly. In all your case, the cases that we have read, you know, many a times, the respondent is cautioned, advised, and go and see no more should go and see no more. Because as for the power, my Lord, all you need to do is just write something, one sentence, and that's all. You say you are here by sentence for 10 years. <laughs> that's the end of the matter. So but that power, my Lord, we're asking, that it ought not be used to follow the best traditions when it comes to contempt, that you use it rather very, very sparingly. So long as the party the respondent before the court has understood the position that he has said, like in Liberty Press. How do you, lecturers, allow somebody to give you an advice to 
go and do things which me I want to contempt. Mm. That is a lawyer standing before you. He ought to know the law. He ought to know it. As I said, other considerations might have led him to sleep, my Lord. We plead him with you. Temper justice with mercy. And warn our brother to go and see no more, especially when we are almost at the end of this trial. Lord, unless there are any issues to be raised, I would like to rest my <coughs> submission at this stage. Are you able to? Yes, my Lord. Have you sought any explanation from your client? What must have entered him in, in, in the studio that day when he acted those words? My Lord, Mrs. Akutobanfu understands this better when she was sitting as a, a trial judge. We always, in pleading, will say that, as Your Lord, she rightly pointed out, something entered into him. Bishi, bishi. I know Akutobanfu. Bishi. You see, some, some power for which you don't have any control over. We call it Bishi. Because, my Lord, what other explanation can you have when he, he, he understands? But you see, when those things enter into you and you begin to fire away, then you, you forget that sometimes you are even a lawyer. The publication for the first time in the inquiry, I thought it would be true, or it can't be true. First, because he's a lawyer, and I thought he ought to know better. And when I checked his credentials, he's a fairly, very senior lawyer. If he's your mate, then he has mates on this bench. Yes. And he wants those mates of his, as captured in one of the paragraphs, their relatives should start planning their funeral. It's not, it's not good. And for somebody who represents a leading political party. Yes. I think that is bad. Mm -hmm. And for me, what saddens me as a Ghanaian is that I have not heard any condemnation from the leadership of the political party he is general secretary of. Not a single word of condemnation has come from the leadership of that party. But we are not saying that we are going towards the end of the case. They are talking of peace. Everybody is talking of peace. The churches, uh, the imams, everybody, chiefs, lawyers, we all want peace. Nobody wants to go into exile. And I believe that most of you, the politicians, you have your passports and visas ready. He just came back from the U.S. He can go back when there is uh, confusion in this country. Some of us we will now have to arrange our passports or visas and go and queue and arrange finances. And you cause confusion and you run away. We must all know that democracy is a developmental stage in every nation's life. This is the first time we are having a case of this nature in this country. We will pass this bridge and move on. And after this case, I hope and believe that presidential elections in this country will not be the same again. And therefore, our utterances must be very, very 
we must be careful with all our actresses, uh, Mr. Ikeo. Uh, we appreciate all that has come from the bench and to say that the whole idea of coming out with guidelines for communicators was as a result of what happened. So the party, in fact, uh, has taken some steps to ensure that it is not repeated and it appears, as I said, that it's, n it's never happened again. Since this uh, particular incident, it's not happening anymore. Yes, my lord. The, the law on contempt in that communique uh, for the education of um, the general public or the uh, communicators. communicators, yes. Well, I believe a team might have come together led by him to ensure that these clear guidelines are issued to avoid the kind of uh, problems we were having on the airwaves. So he got to know this classic law on contempt as he has set it out only after the notice of this court to him uh, concerning this uh, contempt. So his knowledge of the law of contempt dates from that, that time. Well, my lord, as I said, one of the things uh, um, a respondent facing contempt charges should do must try and purge himself of the contempt. So that by issuing the guidelines, being party to the guidelines, was to ensure that he was purging himself of the contempt. See, that's um, uh, in the law. <laughs> Uh, certain processes can be described as sham. You know that? Yes. My yes. Brother, I know. I know. We have sham defense. Yes. We don't have any defense. We go and put some defense. Yes. I sham. think this communique is in that nature. Hmm. First of all, the day we indicated that we will summon him, and I understand he has been coming to court every day. This is the first time I've seen this man here, I mean, personally. But they say he has been coming. The first day we indicated, they say he, he, he was on the ever saying that uh, he, there was no reference to him. Uh, they said a certain Sir John is not him. Then later on, a number of people, you know what happened, came pleading. And I said, the man, nobody has made reference. He says he has not been referred to. So who has instructed you to, to come to us? Where is the genuineness, uh, genuineness in this type of thing? You see, this is one of the worrying things in this country, that the way politicians, some of them, play the game. They think they can dribble everybody, play political chess with everybody, and get away with it, even though it has repercussions for security in this country. That is our concern. And in your submissions, you are saying that looking at the time, a custodial sentence may not be advised. May this, if that is to be pursued, we can take that light and see who is who has power in this country. Is it the state or any number of individuals who think that they are strong and special and above the state? We can do that to demonstrate that. Yes, this is our trouble in this country. My lord, my lord, my lord may take hats. We, no, I'm not we, I'm just, I'm just, we take hats. Uh, as we grow, we begin to so we begin to suffer from blood pressure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you don't know me well. You know, I'm saying this just to make a certain point clear. Yeah. But my temperature. Has been, oh no 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 no. It's uh, <laughs> Lord, very very normal. My Lord, I pray. I pray that uh, it doesn't go beyond the normal. No, no, it's, so, it's, so, it's very hard, my sorry. I know myself. Yes. Yes. But well, I've known you for years. <laughs> so why, why you want to take up judicial arms? <laughs> but I've pleaded with you today never to take up judicial arms. Oh, yeah. Maybe if it is necessary. Yes. You see, this type of 
mentality, you see, has risen because certain arms of law enforcement have been let down to lie. And people grow horns, think they can ride over the state, run down everybody. mislead the ordinary people, poison their minds. The, after the last uh, uh, election, I wasn't here, but from outside, when I saw from Joe F, uh, Joe FM, their report on the iPad, I think one or two people died in the sequel to the election. Why should people die like that? Because of some people's Bigotry, blooded elbows, not caring about anybody, stronger than the state. We have the mandate here, and if we don't exercise this mandate properly, we will not be doing our work well. We'll be letting the state down. That's our concern. Yes. My Lord, fortunately, we have all the the major political players before you, and I'm sure that the signal you are sending is not only to the MPP, but it's also to the NDC. We are here, we oh, are yes, everybody. To everybody, yes. And yes. we will take a cue. You will speak as the president of the bench. You are expressing the you know, sentiments of all your brothers. So I don't think that it's only you. Nobody should put it down to you that, oh, uh, Mr. Just what do you mean they do if I don't care? Because yeah. I believe in what I'm saying. My, my Lord. Why don't I say so? I believe in what I'm saying. I'm praying. That's why I'm saying it. That's how I am. Yeah, but I'm praying that, you see, you've spoken for everybody. And, yes, uh, uh, yes, that's true. You've spoken yes. for everybody. But uh, we, we, we are colleagues. We are also colleagues. At the end of the day, we are also colleagues. Yes. You've got to look at the face of, of your colleague. And, and this warning, I, I think the Ramoski told he has said it. He's sitting there. <laughs> so, oh, he's left. Yeah. So he was here. I, I came and met him. <laughs> but at least the Chaba is still there. The Chaba is still there. Our Chaba is also here. And I believe they've listened. They've listened. They've listened. It would not happen again. We're giving you our way. So oh, a lawyer, a lawyer of his standing. My colleagues on the bench, you said he has me. They say he's a good lawyer. I have no reason to doubt it. If that is so, why should a lawyer of all people? You have made your mark to be what you are through the courts, the legal system. You turn around on whatever board can enter a, a lawyer of so many years standing to run down the judiciary, even the apex court. This is the seriousness of the matter that some people have grown homes too much in this country. And we want to match the power of the state against those people so that they will see how strong they are and how weak the state can be. My Lord, we have said that the power is yours. There's no doubt at all about that. Mr. Otu, uh, yes, Mr. Otu, I yes, think you have, you have said enough. And the point you have made, which I consider very valid, is the timing of this application just coming before judgment. But one thing we must all realize, especially those who aspire to leadership positions in this country, is that if you want your voice to be heard on the airwaves, there are a lot of issues you can talk about. A couple of weeks ago, I saw something on one of the TV stations, uh, Togome. It's a village near Bordam, where Bordam has been constructed. A certain lady lost her life. She's called perfect because the, the only access to the town is through the Bordam. And the Bordam is a vital national asset. So at 10 p.m., the gates 
to the village and locked. And the woman went into labor in the night. She delivered, but she started losing so much blood that they got a vehicle to send her to the hospital. But unfortunately, the gate man who was at the gate, VRA has employed the person to be at the gate, was not there. And by the time they actually located him, so many hours had passed, the woman lost her life at Akuse Hospital the next morning. We can also not say that that road should just be left unguarded because it's one of the few national assets that we have. And VRA is one of the best institutions we have in this country. So our leaders, both sides, government and opposition, must address such issues. If you want people in your village to hear your voice, talk about issues like this. How do we fend for the people of the government to ensure that at 11 p.m. when somebody is beaten by a snake bite and he has to be taken to hospital, he is not locked out of going to the hospital. These are issues we must address, not useless issues like this. Well, so if your client wants his voice to be heard, he should be talking of more productive issues. First of all, you saw how this man stood when he, he came here. Did you see how he stood before us? I, I was uh, looking at my notes. My head was down. What, what, what again entered his head at that time? Well, he came forward here to answer to this charge. Very last casual. <laughs> well, well, we, what does he mean? Well, we are sorry. You put I don't want to there. say too many things. What I'm stressing is that the authority of this country <clears throat> must be upheld for peace. The ordinary people, the year 20,000, you know, ordinary people sold their small properties and left this country flat. Look at that. Because of what? Because of what? They are not entitled to sleep peacefully? Because of people of this kind? 2008, look at the tension. Because of what? People involved in politics, how many are they? How many people run for elections in this country? So that when these things are coming, everybody is panicking, running away or, you know, worrying, having sleepless nights. These things go on and we, we just feel that, oh, it's okay. The state should become anemic before somebody like this. Look at that. Well, let's give him full chance to explain the source of his power over the state of, the, of Ghana. He's here. Let him demonstrate the source of his power because he is very powerful, can run down the Supreme Court and feel nothing wrong about it. The state of Ghana must bow to him. It's my trouble, my worry. 24 million people should be taken for granted for a right by a few self-blocked individuals going on, worsening, and everybody should keep quiet. My Lord, my Lord, you see, uh, when, when you go high, before it comes to writing, it is problematic. That's why I always try to come in again. No, I'm, I'm still at the same level. I'm only making my points. I'm telling you. Yes. Nothing. Hello, no, we, no, we are pleading. I want to make certain points very clearly. That's all. My Lord, my Lord. No, let me finish. Oh. We try to take this, oh, don't mind things are, and things are worsening. That is the trouble. Oh, don't mind, you see, uh, the man has said, oh, uh, it's not, and the man, there's no sincerity in a lot of 
the, 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 the politicking in this country. I'll call it some practice illegal political galamse. <laughs> it's unconstitutional, it totals the peace of this country, and people must turn up to such characters. I will do. Let me tell you, I feel threatened personally. Let me demonstrate. Every morning I walk to church for mass. I've had so many warnings since this case. Hey, it's not safe. Oh, it's not safe. Why should it not be safe? Why? It's unfortunate. Ghana is so very nice country. Ghanaian hospitality. Now you see that, you know, it's, it's waning. It's waning. It's affecting our national character. Peace and stability. Well, we pray, we pray. We know that in the absence of the president, the vice, and the speaker, the chief justice is sworn in. The chief justice is sworn in. You see? <laughs> well, in the absence of the president, the vice, the speaker, the chief justice is sworn in. You see, let me tell you, John, <laughs> you are able to joke like this because you don't do some of those things. We have no problem with a person like you. <clears throat> but you have to open your eyes to know that there are some people who have a certain mindset. They believe in it. They don't care whether the country is on fire or not. They do what they want. The ordinary people suffer. The ordinary people suffer. And we should be sitting here with the state power and allow things to deteriorate for the ordinary people for whose sake we have been given this power to continue suffering. Why can't he behave like you? You are a mate. His mates are here. Why? Don't they behave like him? If not because he thinks he is specially powerful. But well, he has seen his size today. You can't be sure of that. Some, some pretend that they see it immediately, they leave, oh, oh I didn't even say, oh, I still stand. We follow these things. Playing political chess with even uh, uh, an institution of this uh, dimension for the sake of the public good. What? Hello, we will talk to him. We will talk to him. We will talk to anyway, him. Okay. We are grateful. But we still want to apologize for this. May go and stand, don't sit down, but stand behind these people. That's a second case. I thought you would show some power here. He's <laughs> <laughs> laughing scornfully. These people, some of them have to be watched very, very closely. Can't be sure that this man, there's a change in him. We have to watch these things for the sake of the security and happiness of this country, to which the Constitution has given entitlement everybody. Few people want, feel they can take it away. Yes, a second. I'm sure you must be sweating by now. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, yes, yeah, there's a second one. In Iri, Hobson, Adore, Contemnon.